Incarcerate started when the budget was coming through from Corbett that had we knew was going to be slashing education, and folks had recently found out about a prison expansion project. A ton of people actually came together at the table to discuss what this meant for our state. I don't think we had any idea what it would grow and evolve to. So what we decided to do, what the Carstray of Pennsylvania and our allies who supported us, what we want to do is to march from Philadelphia to Harrisburg to tell the governor and to tell the legislature that we're not going to take it anymore. We want them to start funding the things that make our communities safe, like schools, social services, and health care, and stop funding prisons. Carstray APA is a coalition of different organizations individuals, groups, agencies that is trying to stop uh, the construction of prisons uh, in the state of Pennsylvania. Fight back! Stand up! Fight back! Stand up! Fight back! Stand up! Fight back. Stand up. Fight back. small grouping of organizations and people, it grew into something very massive. Build up the schoolhouse. Build up the jailhouse. Build up the schoolhouse. Build up the jailhouse. Same. Same. That whole demonstration was to, in fact, make sure that the people are aware of the fact that the Council of APA was here to stay and that we would do whatever was necessary to get the word out to them and effect some sort of change. Incarcerate PA has a vision, and we have three main points to that. The first, no new prisons. Two, decarceration. So there are fewer people going to prison in the first place, and more people coming home and staying home. Third, community reinvestment. Everything, every issue, every social justice issue kind of touches mass incarceration in the prison industrial complex. So the only way that we're going to tackle this in a way that is actually effective and makes change is to do it in a coalitional way. You know, we are at a critical point where we're seeing our, our communities have been devastated by the consequences of mass imprisonment. This was the moment, you know, and, and people can't look up and not make these connections and not know that there is that we have to be doing something to combat this. Let's go!